I'm really proud of how you did today. You were feeling really low. You did not want to leave the house. You were just like feeling tired and disappointed, but you got yourself up. You did not have the perfect makeup you prefer, but you decided it didn't matter. It was dark outside anyway. You were going to go grocery shopping, and you always put effort into looking cute when you gro go grocery shopping, just in case you run into anybody, but it's very rare that you run into anybody, so you decided it was perfectly fine and that anyone you ran into could handle <laughs> the way you look. As the men usually say, you look exactly the same without it anyway. And when you got there, for some reason, you started thinking about how it's better not to know people deeply and how you really, really wished that you could have just known, for example, your ex-husband for a few months and then walked away going, wow, what an amazing guy. I wonder if I missed out on something instead of staying for as long as you did and being horrified, shaken to your core about things that probably nobody will ever know. And wishing Wishing, wishing, wishing you could go back in time and just not know those things. And, and you got angry at yourself for wanting fantasies, wanting to hold on to a fantasy of how people are, about how the world is, about things being a way that they are not. And in refusing to accept and wishing that you could wish away that darkness in him, you wondered if maybe you do the same thing to yourself, and if you could accept everything about yourself, maybe you wouldn't suffer as much, but then you think, no, <laughs> I think I'm pretty self-aware. I know the dark things about myself, and I just accept them, and I find them interesting like watching a movie, and sometimes the movie is scary. Why can't I see everyone else like that? And then you were thinking, wow, here I am having yet another existential crisis in the grocery store. I should just lighten up. There is upbeat Latin music playing. I am in Mexico in the middle of January, and I do not have to leave. And then the voice in your head pops back up and goes, you can't leave, and you have nowhere to go. But you decided to squash that voice. You always kind of believe that while you're in this body, the earth is your home, no matter where you are. But you did see that amazing figure skater on TikTok today that made you tear up with how beautiful he was, just how beautiful it was, this video of him skating on the ice, an iced lake near Banff, where you had so many memories, where you used to live in the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful places in the world. You used to live there, the place where you and your ex-husband threw the pumpkin off the cliff that day and had the scones with jam and clotted cream and tea in the bookstore in the shadow of the mountain on a cold day not too long ago and you had conflicting emotions back then too you started reading a popular book the preview only on Amazon this evening a book that's so popular with women and you were drawn in by the story and even though the writing was quite bad, you wanted to know what would happen next. And so you tried searching for more information on the internet. And you found a fan video of them acting it out. And you felt secondhand embarrassment watching it. And then you wondered if all women were lost, if we were all just lost in fantasies of 
power and beauty and strong men and des ex machina of magical outcomes in a life that's actually quite dreary for most people and difficult. Hmm. And then you couldn't decide if you wanted to read the rest of this book or not. You figured, of course, oh, I could write something like this. <laughs> Despite the other couple that you're still working on. And you woke up this morning thinking about you are now with the internet the way you were with books when you were younger. Anytime you had a free moment, you were there trying to gain information, trying to be entertained by stories swept away in fantasies. Were books really better than the internet? I like what you did today. You did something, even though you didn't feel like it. We have a lot of good food to make recipes with this week. You really wanted to do some cleanup and some food prep once you got home, but it's hot and you have a heart condition and you're already tired. So maybe we'll have to go easy on that until tomorrow. <laughs> 